To begin stitching in Panaview Image Assembler, you will need to create a stitching project and configure the project for your camera. With the Panaview Image Assembler software open, click on the New Project icon at the left edge of the toolbar to create a new project. When the Project Type Selection window opens, it will default to Panorama Stitching. Click OK in the lower left corner. Another box will appear asking you if you want to stitch in a row or a column. Make sure that the option for single row is selected, then click OK. The next window that will appear is the project window. Before you can begin stitching, you will need to configure the project for your camera. Start by clicking on tab number 4, select a lens definition. Here you will need to enter in your lens definition parameters for your camera and lens combination. If you purchased your software prior to 2011 and you use the Tour Builder 3.0 software on your computer to build tours, then your lens file is already in the Panaview software and you can simply click to select it. If your camera is not in the software, then you will need to add in your lens definition parameters. You can get the lens definition parameters for your camera and lens combination by sending an email requesting the parameters to setup setup at realtourvision.com. Again, that is setup setup at realtourvision.com. Once you have received your lens definition parameters, you can begin entering those parameters in by clicking first on the Add button. On the new lens definition window that appears, begin entering in your settings first with the MFOV, Max Field of View setting for your camera. Next, click on Set Distortion Factors and enter in the K2 factor. Once you've entered the K2 factor in, click OK at the bottom of the Distortion Factor screen. Continue on by entering in the horizontal misalignment and the vertical misalignment settings. Next, in the Lens Name field, enter in the name of your camera. Clear out the description field and keep this box empty. Once you have entered in all of your parameters, click the Save button at the bottom of the new lens definition window. Check to make sure that your panorama lens definition now includes your camera as one of the lenses to be selected. Make sure that your camera lens is selected as the default camera. If your camera is not selected, simply click on your camera to select it. Next, we need to configure the software for automatic stitching. Click on tab number 3, Set Options, and check to make sure that the automatic stitching mode is set in the stitching options. Then, click on the Search Area button to configure the automatic stitching search area options. Begin with Pattern Recognition the resolution used for position finding. It should be set to 1. In the search area, horizontal stitching parameters, the horizontal overlap setting is in the lens definition parameters that you received from the setup department. Enter in the minimum overlap setting first, and then enter in the maximum overlap setting second. The maximum vertical displacement should be set to 2. In the vertical stitching parameters, do not touch the vertical overlap from fields. Leave those as the default. The maximum horizontal displacement should be set to 2. The rotational angle should also be set to 2. Once you have configured these settings, click Save as Default Settings and then click OK. Below the stitching options, you will see the image options. Set your image blending to 50%. Make sure that adjust colors, sharpen resulting image, anti-aliasing, and auto crop are all selected. When you are stitching your panorama, determine whether the panorama will be a 360 image or a partial panorama. A partial panorama is anything less than 360 degrees.
If the image that you're stitching is a 360 panorama, make sure that you check the 360 wrapping option. If your image is going to be less than 360 degrees, make sure to uncheck this option before stitching. Your software has now been configured for stitching and you can begin stitching your first panorama. To begin stitching, click on tab number 2, Add Images. Check to make sure that your source image list is empty and no images are loaded into your project. Then click on the Add button. The open window will appear where you can select the images that you're going to stitch. Select your images and click the Add button to put your images into the input list. If there are any extra images that you do not want to stitch, make sure that you select them and click the Remove button. Once your image list has the correct images that you are going to stitch, go ahead and click the Done button. You will see that the software imports and loads your images for stitching. Next, move the images out of the way and bring the project window to the front by clicking on the project window. Check the orientation of your images and make sure that they are facing upright. If they are not facing in the correct direction, use the blue arrow keys on the toolbar at the top to rotate the images into the correct position for stitching. Once the images have been rotated, select all of the images and then use the close button to close them. To start the stitching process, click on the icon in the toolbar at the top that looks like a running man. You will see that the stitching process begins. You can see the panoramic stitching progress in the lower right corner of the Panaview software. Note that the length of time it takes to complete the stitching process depends on the size of your pictures. Larger pictures will take longer to stitch than smaller pictures. Once the stitching process has been completed, you will see your panoramic finalized image and a box will come up and tell you that the execution was successfully completed. Go ahead and click OK on that box. Check your panorama to make sure that the image has a clean stitch and that there are no mistakes. You can use the magnification buttons to zoom in and zoom out on your panorama. Once you have determined that your panorama has been stitched correctly, you can then go ahead and close the panorama. The software will ask you if you want to save the resulting image. You will click yes. The window will come up to save your panorama. Give your panorama a name. Select the Save As type to save it as a JPEG image and then click the Save button. After your panorama has been saved, the box will close and you will be back to your project window. To stitch the next panorama, simply select your images and use the Remove button to remove these images from your project. When the window comes up asking you if you want to remove the images, click yes. Now that the images have been removed from your project, go ahead and click the add button to add your next set of images for stitching.